finish. Oh my god, that was, that was so funny. Oh man. Hello everyone, I'm CZX the Prince of the Smart Kingdom, and this is React and Review The Battleground 2017. I just finished watching the show, and here's a quick, brief rundown of the show and my thoughts to go along with the show. <laughs> I'm gonna explain why I'm laughing once we get to the end, I promise, I promise. So, Aiden English versus uh, Ty Dillinger. Great match, great match, it was very impressive. I didn't expect them to put on a good match like that, but just proves that they are very talented workers, and if you give them the chance to shine, they can shine. Uh, I'm a little sad that Ty is being reduced to the pre-show when he's awesome and should be on the main show, but I guess it comes with time. It comes with time. But, I'm sorry. Aiden English won the match, which was a shocker to me. Didn't see that coming. Aiden wins. I don't remember how he won. I don't remember the move. I thought it was that face buster DDT he did, but that, apparently that wasn't it. He did that. Boom, it was over. Ty Dillinger loses. Aiden English wins his first pay-per-view match. And I hope this leads up to a... To a... <laughs> I hope this leads to, you know, a push for Aiden English. Because he's an awesome heel. I could see him as, like, the U.S. champion. Or, hell, he could be world champion if they, you know, gave him the push. But I, I think the highest he'll get is U.S. champ. But moving on, New Day versus the Usos for the tag team titles of SmackDown Live. And man, I don't want that feud to ever end. I, I don't. I cannot see what what is SmackDown's tag team division going to do once this feud is over. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. <clears throat> I really don't have a clue. I wish... I could say SmackDown's tag team division was strong enough to put on more entertaining matches like the one they put on tonight, but I don't know. They've been making a lot of people jobbers, and you're already teasing one splitting up. But New Day vs. Usos, great match. Great match. That was match of the night for me. I thoroughly enjoyed that match. Man, thoroughly enjoyed it. And in a shocking twist of events, the New Day are your new SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions. Did not see that coming. Trust me, I didn't see it coming. I had no idea. I thought the Usos were going to win. The uh, New Day would take the belts at SummerSlam. But, didn't happen. Didn't happen. Well, congratulations to the New Day, by the way. Also, uh, Xavier Woods, very, very underrated as a wrestler. Man, he could have an amazing solo run if he ever broke off from the New Day. Not saying it would happen. Calm down. I'm just saying... He can be that guy. He can also be U.S. champion. Hell, he could be world champion. He is great. The charisma is there. The in-ring ability is there. He's got the total package. He can do whatever he wants. Trust me. All three members could, actually. Xavier, Big E, Kofi, they all could be world champions. If they ever wanted to do solo pushes, they could. They definitely could. Let's see. Next, 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 next. You had the Fatal 5-Way Elimination Match. I liked it. I was wrong about who won. Natty won was a bit of a surprise. I thought Charlotte was going to take that. It seemed like it made sense to have Charlotte versus Naomi at uh, SummerSlam, but no. No, no. Uh, Natty wins, I think, dirty. She won dirty by using the turnbuckle. By the way, only have one gripe with that match. Why was Lana and Tamina breaking up submissions and pins? It's an elimination match. Don't do that. Why would you do that? Then you had KO versus AJ, second match of the night. I was enjoying the match up until the finish. I think KO pinned AJ, but I wasn't sure if KO tapped out first. I, I don't know if he even did tap out. I was a little confused by the ending, but KO's new champ. I'm happy. My heart's happy because that means we're not getting Nakamura versus Baron Corbin at... Oh. Oh, Nakamura versus Baron Corbin. I'm, I'm jumping all around here. We're not getting AJ versus Nakamura at SummerSlam. Speaking of Nakamura, Nakamura versus Baron Corbin was what it was. It ended in a DQ after Baron poof, hit Nakamura in the knockaballs. And it that hurt. That hurt. I know it hurt because he stayed down for a while. And if you ever been kicked in the balls, you would know it hurts. It hurts a lot. Nakamura is still undefeated. But I digress. That happened. Wonderful. Then we come to don't think Cena Rusev happened yet. No, no, no. Then we figured out who was the one behind the attacks for on Brizango. Now, Ascension did a prayer, and I 
was very happy because I'm like, Boy, Ascension's back! Yay! 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 But it wasn't them. Which led us all to think, who could it be? And I think I know who did it. It's Eric Rowan. It's got to be Eric Rowan. It's the way Fandango was dragged away and made me think, it's, it's Rowan. It's got to be. Come on, guys. Come on. It's clearly Rowan. Cena versus Rusev. I didn't think I was going to like that match as much as I did. It's very entertaining. I thought it was going to be like the flag match Rusev had with Jack Swagger, where all you had to do was just grab the flag and the match is over. When they introduced the uh, finish line segment, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. That, that's good. That's good. Once they introduced that. So, I didn't realize how much I missed Rusev and Cena on pay per view. Apparently, I did. I missed them a lot, really, and it was good. It was just, it was predictable. Seeing a one duh, but it was good. It was good. I, I, I don't have any qualms with it. It, it was all right. Sami Zayn versus uh, Mike Kanellis, aka Michael Bennett. Michael Bennett. Uh, that was a good one. That was a good match. It proves once again, Sami is underrated. In WWE, he's not used as much as he should be. He should be one of the top guys there, and he's not. And it's a shame. Uh, but Sammy wins the match. Haluva kick. They're one and one. Probably going to get a, another third match with them. You're going to get a blow-off match just to end the whole feud. Because I doubt this is over. It's far from over. Uh, I'd probably get Mike Canellas over some more. Probably going to culminate at SummerSlam, I would assume. SummerSlam. Now. <coughs> now. Why? And the hell was I laughing? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> it's because your your main event. <laughs> your main event. The Punjabi prison match. A third stinker. Third time's the charm, guys, right? Third time's the charm. It stunk so bad. It moved so slow. It, it wasn't like slow and methodical, like two technical guys going at it. I mean, it was just slow and boring. The crowd was chanting, delete, 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 delete. And then the shenanigans happened. Like all gender matches, the shenanigans happened. And now I get to the biggest shenanigan of all. So Orton almost killed one of the Singh brothers by putting them through a table. He kicked another one. They almost fell and broke their back. And then... He hits, he hits uh, Orton, Orton hits Jinder with the freaking chair, right? And it looks like it's all over. Jinder's down, the, the Singh brothers are down, and Orton's about to climb out. And then Jinder's music hits again. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is this? What is this? I heard rumors about this, but I didn't think it was true because I think Kali was a police officer uh, in <clears throat> India at the time. So why would he come back? But it's Kali. <laughs> And Kali comes, he shakes the thing, and he just chokes out Orton for an uncomfortable amount of time. It's just holding him up, just like, uh, uh. just holding him and just shaking his head like this. And I can't stop laughing because I'm like, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous how gender keeps winning these matches. But at the same time, it's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> and Jinder just climbs out and they celebrate for this uncomfortably long like he keeps like, like Jinder keeps going ah and and, and Kali keeps looking around he's just, uh, 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 uh. He's just keeps doing that and, and, and that's the end of the pay-per-view that's the end of the pay-per-view that's how it ends I hated that match so much. Orton is 0-3 against Mahal. 0-3. I'm so finished with them. I'm ready to get it over with. Please, no more. I can't. I can't take it. I'm going to laugh some more. Who are they going to bring next? Is Muhammad Hassan going to come back at SummerSlam and screw Cena off the belt? I, <laughs> I hope so. God. It was so bad. It was so bad. Besides the AJ Kevin Owens match, the New Day match, the Brizango segment, everything else, bit forgettable. Didn't care too much about it. I already know Sammy's great. He should be in better feuds though. I know Ty and Aiden are great now. 
they should be in better fields as well. But the rest of the show, forgettable. If I had to grade it, I'd give it a C minus. It gets a C minus. That's it, everyone. All the links are in the description. Like, share, subscribe, share with your friends, and continue to have a great day. I'm MCZX the Prince of the Smart Kingdom. I'm out of here. <laughs>